Russia begins to evacuate Crimea. First, the prisoners are taken out. Russian occupiers are evacuating political prisoners from Crimea to the mainland of Russia, possibly due to the panic about their ability to hold onto Crimea when Ukrainian armed forces approach the Perikop Isthmus, according to the telegram channel of the partisan movement, Atesh. The occupiers plan to relocate political prisoners from Crimea to Russian territory in the coming days. Special wagons will be part of the passenger train Sevastopol to Moscow, the report states. As revealed by the partisans, the procedure itself is carried out at the railway station Simferopol, Pazayaskri, near a pedestrian bridge. The composition of the opposing guard consists of no fewer than 20 soldiers and two officers. Added Atesh, the bridge that links Crimea to Russia is still only part in use despite Russia's claims it is fully repaired after an attack by Ukraine in July and will be a significant security burden going forward according to UK intelligence. The UK Ministry of Defence said in an intelligence update that the Kirsch Bridge is fully operational but is limited in its use under restrictions that were introduced after Ukraine's first attack on the bridge in October 2022. Trucks and fuel supplies continue to be moved by ferry, the UK MOD said. Russia continues to violate human rights in the occupied Crimea. As of October 2020, approximately 100 Ukrainian citizens were unlawfully detained on the peninsula on politically motivated charges. By March 2021, this number had increased to 114 individuals. In February 2023, Ukraine initiated the creation of a separate register of Kremlin prisoners. This includes Ukrainians who were unlawfully detained due to their political or public activities.